So I'm doing some etymology research and I'm trying to, um, well not trying to, I was sitting briefly with the energies of the, um, the synchronicities connections uh, God was giving, giving to me about the, um, what was, it was the, the Zebulon and everything how that was connecting with Eber, with Weber, Zeb. Okay, so different things started flowing to me. So um, so understanding language and et etymology is very important, and it's something that fascinates me. It helps me, under gives me a deeper understanding of um, everything <laughs> as encoded by language. So... <clears throat> So Zebulon, and I was thinking of, okay, on, on, like Anna, okay, honor, Anna, okay, ah is like God, um, and on with the N, like a consonants feel very like material, like, so God expressed a material, a material, so ah, but N, mm, like on, and John, so it's ah, but it has the N, the N, the consonant, not just the vowel, because the vowel is like the ether, God, okay, the sacred sounds, the sacred tones, whatever, and then the consonants is what ground it, like, into form. And just, just bear with me. <laughs> so, so it's like, ah, just the simple word on, okay, ah, is like God, the energy waiting to be grounded, and then the N anchors it, Encore. That's another one. Anchor. Encore. Okay, I don't want to get... Okay, this now we're getting off on that side of it. But, so it's anchoring God, the ah, into the ground, the N, okay? The ground, the na, the... the um, God, you can even say Gnostic, knowledge, all this stuff is like the reverse of on, to know, Okay. So it's God being grounded. And if you think of like lawn, nylon, things that are on, okay, it's a tangible covering of something, okay. So Zebulon, and it also sounds like Nebulon, like brand new birthing of something. And anything that's ebb, okay, is like ebb and flow. So Nebula... Zebulon, Weber, Eber, Ether, uh, Ebb and Flow, okay, um, and again, like, Ebb, E is like the Ether, God, okay, the electric the, that holds the intelligence, and the B would be the consonant that grounds it down into form, so now we have Ebb, um, Flow, that goes, Ferris, uh, Oh my God, just, there's just so much. So anyway, what um, I was trying to decipher how Zebulon and Weber. Um, so Zeb is like Web, is like Neb. Okay, it's all this brand new thing being birthed through the weaving. Okay, because that's what Eb is. So it doesn't matter if you say Zeb or web, or neb, grounding it in, in, so it just depends on the language of the people, if they use z's or a lot, or n's a lot, or, okay, so, um, and then of course, each letter holds such, like, ah, means God, and, uh, okay, just each letter and each sound, each vowel, each consonant has, uh, a meaning to it, and that, that, that's what, like, gematria is all about. Numbers hold a certain vibrational, you can decipher the meaning. It has code, it has information encoded within the number, within the vibrational, the sound, the, okay, the sacred geometry is all connected. So, from Zebulon, Okay, so Zeb, Web, Neb, the birthing of something, creating something new. So whether it's a star, okay, that would be like Nebula. And, you know, 
Neptune, Nebula, um, uh, Natal, that, okay, so that's like the brand new birthing of something through what? The ebb, which is the ebb and flow, the, the weave, the warp, and the weft, the in and out, okay, that's the ebb and flow, that's the ebb. And if you look at a zebra, okay, so zebra, so we have zeb, again, web, okay, it's the in and the out, it's the yin and the yang, the black and the white, okay, so zeb, ebb, and that, and with ra, because that's ra, like the sun, okay, ra, light, okay, so Ra, and you can think of it like Ray, okay, so you have Ah, which is God, Ah, but then you have the Ur, Ur, which grounds it into form, which, okay, sunlight, actual visible light, okay, so that's Ra, and we can turn it around and say Ar, so Zebar, or Zebra, it just depends, so like in French, different languages will, will put R-E, like theater, meter, but in American English, we we spell it E-R, meter, theater, all these different words, E-R. It just depends on what part of the world you're from. They could do it R-E or E-R. It's all, okay, because we like to be unique, and that's why language has been all changed around and everything, because we want to do it our own way, right? <laughs> And things get lost in translation through migration and all the different things. So, <clears throat> and so, zebra, zeb, okay, ebb, the weaving, the web, and of the ra, the ray, the light, okay. If you think of um, r as the ray of light, which is ah, God is light, and r is the ray of light. So like all the different rays, okay, angelic orders and whatever, that you know, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, the, the rays of the rainbow, okay, rainbow, raw. Um, so, zeb, raw, and if you think of a zebra, black and white, it's the weaving of the light, zeb, web, ebb, weaving, Okay, the in and out, the ebb and flow, the weaving of the ra, the light. So you can say zebra or you can say zeber, right? Because of the, the way the language, they've changed the R-E or R-A to E-R or A-R. Just like abra or abar, okay? The other video, a couple videos again, um, ago, not the last one, but the one before that with Abraham, okay, and so how it gets all changed around, so zebra is zeber, or zebar, okay, which is webar, too, it's the same thing, so the zebra weaves light and dark, just like the spider, the ebb, weaving of the light, zebra, or zeber, okay, weber, weaver, um, so Zebulon is the weaver of the cloth, uh, which is the cosmos and the stars. Okay. Because if you think of Zebu born, Zebula, like, like a star being born, being weaved with light, Zebu and then Lan, on being manifested onto the earth, okay, through the weaving, Zebulon, so, anyway, I, I, I may sound all over the place, but this just, like, stuff is flooding in, and all these connections are being made, and I'm just trying to express it in the most um, comprehensive way that I can, so that it's understandable and, and doesn't take up too much time, but I need to just document um, this part of the journey. I feel it's important. So, uh... <sighs> all right. Love you guys. Peace and blessings.